portions of Newly Greens, underwritten by Near Sea Naturals. Leading the organics fabrics industry with an extensive selection of sustainable fabrics and yarns, ideal for your creations. When you order, mention Newly Greens and receive a free gift for your creations. Nearseanaturals.com. Today on Newly Greens, cool schools. Hi, and welcome to Newly Greens. You know, it occurred to Greg and I that just about everyone is newly green at the moment. Maybe you've made a choice to buy organic or you're using CFLs. Maybe you're just unconsciously buying your power from a utility company who happens to be sourcing more of their power from solar and wind. The fact is, people everywhere are benefiting from choices that preserve the world we live in, promote a healthier lifestyle, and are financially beneficial. And you know, we think that these ideas are a great step forward, so we're doing this show to draw attention to that and focus on the people who are actually putting these great ideas into action. Mm -hmm. Today, we get to visit some very forward-thinking schools that are bringing these new, more balanced ideas into the classroom. This is more than teaching new technology. The timeless values of respect for others, personal responsibility, and reconnecting with nature are the real value these students and parents are taking home. Let's start by getting green by design. For today's green by design feature, we're going to the Summerfield Public Elementary School in Neptune, New Jersey. We'll be speaking to the principal, Dr. Arlene Rogo, head of facilities, Don Frangiapan, and Joe Donnelly from the architecture firm EI Associates about the unique qualities that make this a really cool school. Dr. Rogo, what was the motivation for the town to approach a LEED school project? We were in need of some new facilities. And we were lucky enough that as an Abbott district at the time, um, funding was provided by the state to be able to do something like this. Was there a specific request for the plans to be environmental? It was all part of the same process. You know, it was, if it's going to be built, it is going to be environmentally friendly. And they had very specific educational goals in mind. They wanted the building to be uh, certified, at least LEED Silver, and they wanted the building to become, uh, as we refer to it now, as a living textbook you know, for the students right. in terms of helping the students learn about sustainability. And they wanted a LEED uh, school, and they took the design-build approach where one firm is pretty much in charge of everything. And they ended up with a LEED goal school, which, by the way, um, when you see it, it's just amazing. You know, we didn't want a school that necessarily looked like the typical school. Um, we wanted some place that the children would feel very comfortable coming to. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, and it represents a flexible set of standards by which we can judge a building's performance. We recently caught up with Andy Topinka, chair of the New Jersey chapter of the U.S. Green Building Council, to explain. It's a scorecard that covers site selection. It has a scorecard that covers energy and atmosphere, material resource, uh, water, conservation, uh, innovative design, indoor air quality. These are the areas that LEED looks at. Don, can you tell us about the uh, little round things in the floor here? Sure. Well, <laughs> the round diffusers are part of our underfloor air distribution system. Is it 100% geothermal that you're using? Yes. We take the water from the earth. We pump it through the heat pump, and the heat pump discharges or absorbs energy from the groundwater. The water source heat pumps will take the air, and they duck it down under the floor. We can take them right out for cleaning of the diffuser. We can also adjust the airflow. So if it's underneath someone's desk and the airflow is too great, we can reduce it, and it'll disperse it to other areas. We can move the diffuser around the room based on the arrangement of the furniture and it keeps the comfort level of the air right at the students, you know, from six feet down. So these things are great. So the whole thing is a plenum, and then these are just modular. You just move them around where you want them. Correct. Mm. Ah, that's really cool. That is great. Now, of the renewable energy sources, geothermal is still one of the least understood. Now, this may be because there's actually more than one type of geothermal energy. There's geothermal used to create electricity, and there's geothermal used to regulate temperature. So in the case of electricity geothermal, this is done at the utility scale. Why utility scale? Because it costs millions of dollars to drill miles down into the earth 
to use superheated fluid to turn electrical turbines. What we see more often is thermal to control temperature. You can think of this as functioning in very much the same way that your refrigerator does at home. Your refrigerator uses fluid to transfer heat from inside your refrigerator to the outside of your refrigerator, where that heat can be dissipated using cooling fins. This is why it's important to vacuum your cooling fins and keep them clean so they can do their job. In the case of a building, the system functions very much the same way, except that instead of using cooling fins, we use the earth. If you go about six feet below ground, the earth maintains a constant temperature year round. In our particular latitude, that's about 55 degrees. A little bit cooler to the north, a little bit warmer to the south of us. Then it's simply a matter of taking that heat or that coolness and ducting it through the various rooms in the structure. In the summer, we can sink heat into the ground, and in the winter, we can draw heat from the ground. Of course, we'll have more links to information about geothermal at newlygreens.com. Portions of Newly Greens, underwritten by Shan. So healthy and natural skincare products proudly support sustainable minded programming that educates viewers about eco friendly, non toxic, chemical free alternatives to conventional products. Increasing well being through understanding. So healthy and natural.com.